Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dot Hack G Volume 1. Again, we're playing the last recode version of this game uh, for the PC. And where we last left off, we had just gotten our job extension. Haseo's got himself some sweet new digs. I actually kind of like this job extension. It's not bad, but not my favorite. Anyway, um, we had just gotten the job extension finished. We now have the rod sword. And we need to go in and take care of our arena match against Bordeaux. Right there at the end, you guys also got to see that we had a deal with that dude who put the mark offering on us. I still couldn't tell. I'll have to go back and watch the video, but I can tell if that's the same guy or if it was a different guy, but uh, the same type of dude. He just works for the same people or whatever. I don't know. Maybe they're a part of the same cult. Anyway. You will not be able to retire in a tournament. Please save before taking part. Well, little do you know, we already did that. It's our first round fight! First round, and yeah. we're two men in it. Paseo, your character is different somehow, isn't it? Oh, how nice of you to notice. Extension. It won't make up for not having a third person, but it should help with our chances for victory. Let's do it! longer now mm. the spectator seats are filled up <sighs> it really feels different when you're about to fight an official match in front of an audience mm. can we win what do you think Haseo? Adelie yes what Calm down. Okay. I'm sorry. I wonder if Syllabus and Gaspard will come to watch us. They will. I'm sure. So. Gotta put on a fight we won't be ashamed of. Adelie is freaking out. But it's a 2v3. We got this. Hey, the match is about to start. Hmm, so he did forfeit the match after all. I'm surprised. He's got more guts than I figured. Didn't think he'd get a job extension. The moment you've been waiting for, it's the first round of the Demon Palace Tournament! The Today's first time we get to see the announcer. Is, we're pleased to have Kestrel's Guildmaster, Mr. Gobby, here. Ha, perfect weather for a picnic. Um, okay, Gobby. Well then, what do you think will be the highlight for the upcoming match? How long do you think the newcomer, Team Aseo, can last against Team Bordeaux? Today's Bordeaux is a very good woman. Uh, anyway, it seems that Team Haseo is already down by one. Let's go. Oh, it interrupted his attack. Interesting. Gotta make sure to save Adelie when I can. Not you. I can't get back to him. Adelie, calm down. You. No, you don't. Get off her. Huh. Was that it? Hey now, little Haseo, what's wrong? 
You're finished already? Come on, let's go! What's the matter? Try and say something, huh? No. I can't be finished. They're all counting on me. If I lose here, then I... I won't be able to protect anyone. Character development. Not Syllabus. Not Gaspard. Not Adelie. Not Shino! Oh, that's a trigger. I swear. I am going to kill you with my own hands and entrance and triage. Oh, that sound sends chills down my spine, dude. I have found you. Come to me. <laughs> he, he, he did it! The winner is Haseo! It's a miracle! What an unbelievable attack! I have no idea how to describe what just happened! This must be disappointing for you as Kestrel's Guildmaster. Any comment? Does he look sad? Hmm. Is it over already? You were just clapping. The match was decided in an instant. All right, Gobby's insane. Now that it's come to this, we would love to see him fight against the Emperor. Gonna body him. I'm Gobby. Yeah, he's insane. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, announcer. Well then, farewell. He was an awful commentator. Welcome to the world. Look who it is. So Haseo finally summoned his avatar. Oh, and they're pissed. Hey, Kuhn, how was that? Did you see? That's right, I finally got my avatar. You... You idiot! Do you have any idea at all just how dangerous it is to use an avatar against a human player? 
Hey, you know what they've done just as well as I do. It's their own fault. They deserved what they got. They deserved it? It's their own fault? Come on. Do you honestly believe that? If you had made one wrong move out there, they could have easily ended up in a coma. What is wrong with you? Don't tell me. Don't tell me you... Aw, oh, shut up already. They woke up from the attack, right? So everything's fine. That's not the point! Give it up, Kuhn. As far as he is concerned, an avatar is nothing more than a useful tool. Oh? What else do you call it, then? Listen to me, Haseo. The power we Epitaph users possess is a power that has deviated from the system of the world. If we use it with no control, the world's rules will end up wrecked. That's why Epitaph users should never, ever use avatars. Except against things like Ida! Well, too bad for you that I'm not a good little boy like you. I use whatever powers I have to their full extent. That is my way. Don't you get it? What you're saying, what you're doing, is the same as the nonsense those hackers spout! Thank you so much for the lecture. But I'm going to use my avatar however I like and whenever I like. Hacker? If that's what you want to call me, fine. But I have no intention of changing how I play this game. Haseo! Damn it. I told you. Hmm? He's not fit to be an epitaph user. So Haseo finally gets his avatar. He summons it in the nick of time to save himself. He uses it against players that... We're just normal people, just normal players. And they could have ended up in a coma, and Kuhn seems to forget that Haseo didn't know what could have happened. No one told him. And when he couldn't summon his avatar, they just left him. No one defended the fact that Pi said that he was useless. He was just left to his own devices. Kuhn even told him that he would not be able to beat Bordeaux after Bordeaux was messing with all of his friends. So Haseo went out and did something about it. He got a power, and when he was in a pinch, he got even more power. Now, using an avatar against a normal player, that's, that's pretty wrong. That, that's not okay. But, leaving him out to dry like that, also not standing up for his friends, Haseo took a stand where Kuhn didn't. Now, Kuhn said he would figure out his own way to deal with it, you know. He would uh, do something about the issue itself, but Haseo didn't want to wait. He figured it out on his own, and he fought and did what they said he couldn't do. Now granted, he used a power he probably shouldn't have, but <sighs> I'm not sure what else to say about it really, it just it kind of sucks. They left him without any help, and he took matters into his own hands and he figured it out. What more can you say? Well. The match is over, we got our avatar, we beat Bordeaux, should have saved our friends. There's nothing else to do. Now, I know I'm going to just check my email, but when you don't know what to do, just check your memoir. Check your email, take your mind off things. So let's log out and check our email. have an important message let's see what's up some syllabus about the first match syllabus wants to talk to us at the at home let's go see what he's got to say but yeah like I was mentioning before they all just kind of turned away from Maseo now granted he didn't exactly do the thing he should have done but can you really blame him? He just did what he thought was right. Now, 
for those who saw the anime, you probably recognized immediately when you saw the look on Hiseo's face. It's that same drunk on power look that he had before. Like Adelie has been waiting for somebody. Ha, ah, Sakaki. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Sakaki. Guess I'll stop by Canard's at home. Let's head over to Canard. You came. Thank you. <laughs> I say <laughs> Oh, Haseo, you were so cool! You were amazing! Get off me! Hey! Congratulations! Congratulations, Haseo! And, um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? Well, I mean, we... We didn't do anything. We just left everything up to you. Sorry about that. C come on, you guys. Cut it out. Get your heads up. I just did what anyone else would have done. I mean, after all, I am Canard's guildmaster. It's my job. R really? So you mean that you're not mad at us? Don't make me repeat myself. Are you okay with us? Is there anything we can do to help out? Yeah! Can I help too? Do what you want. I mean, he probably could have said, like, play the game and had fun, but I don't think Asayo's really, like, in the mood for any of that. While we're here, let's check out the Book of 1000. Oh, oh, oh. Rank 2. Got some more wallpapers and some more movies. So we're getting close with these. What was the one that went up just now? It was this, right? Yeah, weapons and armor. So we have 21 of the 43 total weapons in the game. This will finish off once we have completed the arena. But we'll get the rest of this done. I think it actually still counts how much time we spend on the bike. Yeah, an extra minute since uh, last time. Alright, let's go ahead and... I believe it's just check our email, right? Yeah, let's go check our email yet again. Everyone is online, so this is a time where you could do side quest stuff. We need a party with Piro so third at some point because his affection's really low. But I might do that offline or off uh, off camera to get his affection up, stuff like that. You can also use cards to get their affection up, like greeting cards, which I might send some of those out too. Use those to kind of fill the gap. Got four new messages. Oh, popular guy. Oh, something from Yata. It's urgent. Yata's calling me. Guess I'll go visit Ravens at home. You know, after all that, Haseo is still like, I guess I'll just go. So Pierce the third, he of fair eyes. Do you not think it's time? Okay, so you know what? He wants to go fight a dungeon. Oh no, it's actually a quest. Defeat Gargon. Ho oh ho! Okay, so let's do a quest with us. 
Gaspard's told us about entrance. Let's not be mean to Gaspard. We'll be a nice guy. Don't worry, man. There are people that worry about you, so be careful. And Syllabus, resident of the forest. So, we kind of mentioned this, the resident of the forest, again, this is something that happens in the anime. Hiseo goes through a very difficult quest um, that they call the Forest of Pain. He makes it to the end of this quest. Now, this happened after um, the events to Shino. After Triage PK Shino, Shino goes into a coma, and Hiseo goes after this, uh, this quest. At this point, he's kind of just going through the motions. He seems kind of dead inside, and he's... Is this place starting to devolve in the anime, right? Now, Haseo makes it all the way through the to the end of the Forest of Pain. And when he makes it to the end of the Forest of Pain, that's when he gains his power, similar to what we see at the beginning of the or at the beginning of the game, where he's known as the Terror of Death. He's got, you know, his all of his armor and everything, and he's got all of his different weapons. That's why he doesn't really know much about job extension, because he really didn't go through it. He jumped from where he was all the way to, like, his second job extension. It's a pretty big jump as far as power goes. And he got a pretty big boost in power level, too. And then from there, Haseo just kept devolving into just taking out every PK he saw. And with an outfit like that, I mean, it's pretty easy to, to get that sort of nickname. That's kind of a harsh answer. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, both of those are kind of harsh answers. Adelie, her and her big mouth. <laughs> oh, we're not going to be mean to Syllabus in our message. We'll be mean to Adelie in the message. It's a message to Syllabus, right? So we'll be mean to Adelie. Uh, I'll go ahead and send off one of these so you guys can see how these work. I'm going to send it to Gaspard. No, to Pyrrhus. Just send them a greeting card. And later, we'll get the response to that. So, let's go talk to Yata, see what he has to say. Yata's calling me. Guess I'll go visit Ravens at home. Oh, I forgot I have to go outside for the warp gate. So we just got a new message. That's just, um... That is probably from our greeting card we sent out. We'll check that in a moment. But let's head over and see what Yada has to say to us. It's about our f uh, the future of uh, GU. seems that you have awakened, and you are now able to use your avatar. Huh. Some aren't so happy with that. Hmm. Don't worry about Kuhn. And are you okay with that too, old hag? I will obey Master Yada. Well, you sure are dedicated. You would never understand. Now, shall we get on about your mission? You are to investigate the area of my designation and to obtain a sample of the first level Ida. Now, do you have any questions? How do you get it? By using the Avatar's data drain, you can also draw out Ida's data. 
A. You haven't forgotten what you said when you asked me to join GU, have you? I have absolutely no qualms about rendering assistance to you in your search for Tri-Edge. Watch. This is the same thing that happened to Shino. Due to the shock the victim suffered from the attack, he is in a coma and has yet to recover. You mean there are others like Shino out there? We have a name for the players who have fallen into comas. We like to call them the Lost Ones. The Lost Ones? What is he? An epitaph user? The only thing we know is he's not a regular player. Upon researching the access record for the area, we have found information that matches the three victims, as well as one other unknown player ID, which is suspected to be Tri-Edge. Those records remain on the logs. However, the entry record for the Chaos Gate in the same time period of the attack you just watched shows only three players. In other words, he's getting into areas through means other than a chaos gate? Yes, he sure fits the description of a ghost. So, how the hell do we track down someone like that? If we find out anything else, I'll definitely let you know. In exchange, you want me to investigate Ida, right? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Very good. I will notify you of your area of investigation later. You are dismissed. And so we learn a little bit more about Triage. Turns out he can get into areas without using the Chaos Gate, so it's going to be even more difficult to track him. And this is the first to say I was hearing about characters other than Shino who suffer the same fate as her. They went into a coma. Sorry about that, I was trying to move around for a minute there and I couldn't. Oh, also, so this is something you're going to come across. This is Wise Grunty. Um, each Grunty uh, for each guild matches the, uh, the guild owner. So this is supposed to be uh, Yata. You also might recognize Wise Grunty from the quest that we did from Death Grunty. Well, let's go ahead and check our email, because that's what it's going to tell us, right? Go check your email, yep, as per usual. have a response from Pyrrhus for the greeting card. And it just increases their affection, basically. It's just a way to boost affection. Antares says he'll be waiting for us at Lumia Cloth's Chaos Gate. Old man Antares. What does he want? He's at Yes, yes, yes. He's at Lumia Cloth's Chaos Gate. Let's go find out what he has to say.
Old Man Antares. What does he want? He's at Lumina Cloth, huh? Let's head over to Lumina Cloth. First round? Yeah. Well, I guess that's only natural. After all, you are my disciple. When did I become your disciple? I want you to meet some people. Hmm? Come. All right, and so we're headed over to. Let's go. This guild. Hey, where are we going? To Ecolo's headquarters. Ecolo? A crazy guild where the requirement to join is to be an arena emperor. Why are we going there? Wait a second. You can't get inside other ad homes without a key. Here. This is... Why do you... Shut up. Just shut your mouth and come with me. So we're heading into Ecolo's at home. guy's an arena emperor too? He doesn't look that strong to me. Antares, what's the meaning of this? Nothing at all. I just came to show my disciple here the famous Ecolo headquarters. I told you, I'm not your disciple. Listen up, Antares. This is a citadel for the Chosen Ones, a place for brave warriors, not a place where any outsider can just waltz in. Especially not for someone who abandoned Ecolo like you did. Do not disturb our order. Is that what you think, too? Come out and say hello, Taiaku. Uh, when did he get here? There's no need to worry. I will honor your intent. After all, you are the founder of Ecolo. This guy, I think I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> That's my Taihaku. Unlike some greenhorn brat. You know your manners. But why not just speak frankly? That Ecolo's order doesn't mean anything. And Terrace, you bastard! Huh, who the hell is this guy? How should I know? We're in the middle of something. Get out of here! Is she a member of Ecolo too? She's an ex Ecolo, just the same as me. Now let's see. She's participating in the Demon Palace tournament like you. So I guess that would mean she'll be one of your rivals as well. Rival? Who? You mean this? He looks weak. What did you say? <laughs> You're the one messing around. What are you, some kind of noob? Don't you know the name Alcade, Demon Palace Emperor? Uh. Former Emperor. Shut the hell up! 
The current emperor is Endrance, because you lost to him. Shut up, you stupid telephone pole. I'll reclaim my place. Ha! <laughs> Don't act like a sore loser. Got it? Listen, noob. You and I are on totally different levels. I will be the one to defeat Endrance. There's no place for you in this fight. Like hell! I am gonna be the one to defeat Endrance! What was that? You're talking trash! But when it comes down to it, you lost to him! That's why you left Ecolo. Shut up! I only lost last time because I let my guard down! I'll definitely win against him next time. That's enough, you two. Let's go, Haseo. She's like already gone. Why could you. You know what? Whatever, Antares. Man, that woman pisses me off. That's the current state of Ecolo. Huh? A guild master that has lost his zeal and members who have nothing at all except for their empty pride. Can this be? Is this the Ecolo that I envisioned? Oh. When I saw your fight at the arena, when I saw how eagerly you fought, this dried up old man thought to himself, I thought it would be interesting if he became an emperor. I don't care about what you find interesting or not, but I am going to become the emperor. So that's Ecolo. It's in a pretty bad state. But we have an email, so let's check our email. You know what? This video is getting kind of long. A little longer than usual. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Take care of some off-screen stuff, do a little bit of equipment management, and then we come back next time. We'll check that email and see where we're headed to next. Thanks again for sticking through, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.